have to set yourself up I Francisca Apia na Maoni. Yeah, na Maoni kwenye hicho ambacho wamekizungumza mwenye kiti ni kitu muhimu sana na ni moja kati ya challenge kubwa. So tuko jitasimia upigaji picha lakini wanaharakati wake za wanawake na wasichana hata ambao wanafanya kwenye kazi, hata kwenye makazi kwenye maofisi ambapo watu wameajiriwa kuna hiyo stigma ya kwamba uh, ukishakuwa mwanamke basi kuna kazi tu aina fulani ya kazi wewe ndio unatakiwa ufanye lakini zile kazi kubwa kubwa ha, kuna watu wake hata hiyo stigma iko hata kwenye vikao vya serikali wanawake wakifika wanakaa siku za mbele kuna namna ambavyo wanasubiria watu wengine kwanza wakae alafu ndo wao waje wakae wao wenyewe tu yaani hamna hata mtu anayewaambia na ndio hiyo kitu tunasema ni mfumo dume ambao upo unaishi ndani yetu na upo very deep kiasi yes, kwamba hata mimi Francisca kuna vitu vingine naweza nikawa nafanya ni vya kimfumo ni vya mfumo dume lakini kwa vile nimelelewa hivyo hapo naona kwamba mimi siwezi kuongea kama labda mzee ajaongea au kuna vitu uweze kusema ni vitu vya vya msingi hauwezi kusogelea kuzifanya sasa nikirudi kwenye swala la kujitokeza zaidi wanawake kwenye fursa za upigaji picha au kukubalika kama mpiga picha mwanamke na ambaye anaweza kweli kufanya hiyo kazi imekuwa ni ngumu na bado wengine paka sasa hivi ni wazoefu unaweza kukuta huyu ambaye anafukuzwa yani anaonekana kama ni mwanamke hawezi na anafanya kazi nzuri kuliko nyingine na mfano mmoja kati ya mpiga picha wetu ameshindwa kuja hapa wana kazi nyingine kuna wasema kama watu tayari wana kazi corporate wanafanya aliitwa kwenye mkutano mkubwa tu mkutano mkubwa mgeni rasmi alikuwa mgeni rasmi alikuwa nadhani mkuu wa nchi kwenye hiyo mkutano very intensive kuna watu wengi na akaletwa mgeni mwingine ambaye anataka kwenye shirika kubwa tu akaja na mpiga picha wake si unajua sikuizo anatembea ndio anawapiga picha wao sio siku hizi nadhani viongozi wote wanakuwa wanawapiga picha wao mpiga picha wetu wa wapiga picha wa kike akawa anajitahidi kuna namna ambavyo mwalimu anawafundisha gharama ya kugombania picha yani right kupata picha nzuri kwa hiyo akawa anajitahidi kila kama anajitahidi kwenda anafukuzwa yani ile kwamba wewe songea kuna mtaalamu wetu hapa anatakiwa apige picha mtaalamu anajua kwa hiyo anatoa mimi sikukubali nikaingia nika dida wote mnamjua dida photographer akasema nikaingia namna nikapata picha nikapata picha zangu kali tatu wafu nitakaa pembeni kilicho tokea yule mtaalamu picha zake hazikuwa nzuri kwa sababu zilikuwa ni picha za ndani giza zikatoka wanatakiwa picha wapeleke kwenye gazeti Dida akatuma picha mpiga picha wetu sasa akatuma picha zake zile akauliza una picha za aina hii akasema eh ninazo kwao akazituma zile picha ambazo anasema nazo chache nilipata kwa sababu kuko kuna wapiga picha wengi tutumie matokeo yake yule bosi akazipenda zile picha na tunavyoongea kapata kazi kutokana na zile picha hizi tatu ambazo alizipiga kwa hiyo tunaweza tukaona kwamba kuna namna ambavyo kweli ukiwa unaingia pale watu kama hawakuamini hawakuelewi ukizubana ndo wanazidi kutoka kukuambia kwa hiyo tu, 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 tunafundishana lakini pia tunaambiana ni ule uwezo kujiamini na kuhakikisha kwamba unafanya kitu kizuri ili kuprove ile mfumo kwamba sio kweli kwamba mtu akiwa ni msichana hawezi kupiga picha kwa hiyo hakuna kama hivyo sema Rachel jileke kwamba wewe pale uko kwenye kazi na hamna mtu atakuonea huruma kwa sababu wewe ni msichana kwa sababu wewe ndio unatakiwa kufanya kazi nzuri ili kuwasaidia wasichana wengine mfano Rachel Rachel amepata kazi nyingi sana sijui kwa nini hataki kushare na sisi kazi amezipata labda moderator atampa nafasi Rachel amepata kazi nyingi sana piga picha za za, za sports picha za michezo Maji ni mtu anakimbia na kuna kuna ambaye mpiga picha anapiga picha za marathon ni mdada. Amepata ile GB anti GBV marathon kazi alipata. Akazipiga zile picha zote kama mnaziona kwenye mtandao za anti GBV marathon. Amezipiga msichana anaitwa Omega kutoka kwenye program yetu. Imagine ni yeye anatakiwa akimbie kuliko akimbiaji. <laughs> yani she's supposed to be very fast. She has to run very fast kabla ya wale wakimbiaji wote hawajaje ili aweze kupata best shot. Kwa hiyo ni lazima pia kuwa wakasamavu 
na kuto kufikiri kwa kama hivi na hivyo sema kuna kitu kinakuja tu amna kitu kinakuja tu hivi unatakiwa uwe mkatamavu na uoneshe kwamba watu yes naweza ndivyo wanawake wengi wataweza kuja kwenye hii tasnia hawa ndio maoni yangu I took the video. 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 I and luckily enough, I post the video and I was so very happy. Oh. <laughs> so, na mwe mwenye promotion Okay. So, nataka story moja. Na mimi kuna siku niliwahi kupata fursa ya kwenda kupiga picha kwenye mkutano mkubwa ambao mgeni uh, rasmi ni mheshimiwa rais. Kwa hiyo nikamchukua sehemu ya mabinti waende kupata uzoefu. Kwa hiyo kama mnavoelewa kama ushindwa kama tukio mara nyingi rais aingilie mlango ambao wengine wanaingilia sana na kwa hiyo mimi nikaje nikaambiwa bwana anakaribia kufika kwa inabidi ukae stand by kwa mimi nikamchukua yule mtu wangu tupo wote so yeye rais anatokea yeye ndo kwa mara ya kwanza anamuona rais katika maisha yake baada ya piga picha takimbia umeona <laughs> 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 ndio <laughs> Kwa hata hapa jamani na wasisitiza ulizeni maswali. Kwa hiyo msana langu kwamba kitakachokusaidia pia ni ni kuuliza kwa sababu inabidi ujiamini na mwisho wa siku kama uvunji sheria kwa nini usiulize kwa nini usi yani kwamba hamna kitakachokutokea utaambiwa tu bwana hapo utaji kusimama kaa pale unajua eh. Kwa hiyo na na encourage hata ninyi hapa jamani tuulizeni maswali kwa sababu fursa mara nyingi aziji mara mbili. Huenda yule angepata best shot yake ya rais lakini kwa sababu ya kutokuuliza na uoga hakuipata. Kwa hiyo hata wewe hapa wenda ndio ulikuwa uulize swali muhimu sana katika kariya yako lakini kwa kuona aibu hautauliza na hautakuwa umejifunza. Kwa hiyo jamani tuendelee kuuliza maswali. Ehe, <laughs> <laughs> kuna swali jamani. Mimi nataka kuongezea kwenye hiyo swala la la kutishwa au kuogopa. Mm. Binadamu sisi tuna kitu kinaitwa ego au kiswahili tunasema hivi ego majivuni kama majivuno fulani mtu akikwambia kitu fulani unaona vibaya unaona uchungu unapata hasira ni vitu ambavyo vinatokea ukiwa na una ego sasa kama binadamu unajipunguzia nguvu zako we mwenyewe kwa kuchukua maneno ya mtu na yakakuumiza wewe katika maisha kama kuna kitu kibaya ambacho kitakuzuia kwenye maendeleo yako yoyote ni kifo ukishapata kifo umemaliza mahesabu yote ya dunia alimradi uko hai unaweza utaweza na utafika kokote unakotaka ujitume mwenyewe tu ambaye na ndana na point ya ya, 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 ya dada mimi kwenye swala la uoga kumogopa rais nimebahatika kupelekwa kupiga picha ya rais unafika pale unapitia mazingira gapi ya kukaguliwa kwanza ukifika pale ndio hao walinzi wake wote wakuangalia wewe kila mtu macho yake yako yako sasa aidha ufanye ile kazi inayotakiwa au uanze kubabaika 
na kuogopa na kusema sasa hapa na ukichukua hatua moja hivi wale wote wanaingia ndani <laughs> karibu kukuziwia usiende karibu sana kwa hiyo ni vitu ambavyo vitatokea na kila mmoja kwa anaweza katokea mimi sikutegemea nitakuwa nimepiga ile picha hapa jamani kama msofahamu hii portrait imeona ya mama Samia hapo mzee Anifu ndo ameipiga hiyo picha kwa mbona wewe anapongelea swala la kujamini unawaanisha eh kwa hiyo uoga wako uwe ni kifo isiwe zaidi ya samani mimi jamani kama alivyosema mzee Anifu inabidi akimbie kidogo kwa sababu ya ya msikitini nitoa fursa ya swala kama una swala la karaka ndo nakimbia Ah. Eh, Anderson naye ana maoni. Asante. Ah, mimi nadhani kwa upande wa photographer, ah, wana kwa na kuelewa mimi vizuri. Nina Nina maoni au nina nataka nimpe information zaidi ya Amina ambapo walikuwa wanazungumzia sana information ambazo nazipata kwa social media. Sauti kidogo. Information ambazo walikuwa wanazipata kwa social media. Sasa hivi almost ni kwa social media uh, ukiwa unafungua kuna vitu nakuelekeza interest ya vitu ambavyo nataka kukiona. Sikia? Na kufungua Twitter au kufungua wapi na kuuliza wewe ni mtu wa sports au mtu wa science au mtu wa wapi? Vile vitu ndio vinakusaidia wewe kupata information sahihi ambazo unazitaka. Huwa tunakuja kukosea si wenyewe. Baada ya kufungua umeweka interest ya vitu unataka lakini unakuja kusearch vitu vingine. Mfano YouTube, ukifungua YouTube wanakuuliza umri ukiweka umri chini ya miaka mitano hiyo account ni mbovu automatic na body score sawa kwa hiyo hata hizi account nyingine ambazo watu wamefungulia siku za watoto siku za Instagram huwa wana fake umri kuandika kama ukifungua tu bila national app sizani kama Instagram itafunga labda iwe Instagram ya shirika au mtu mwingine lakini ukifungua personal national app sizani kama mtoto kadhaliwa leo yani kadhaliwa sasa hivi na kufungua Instagram sasa hivi hiyo Instagram ni kitu. Kwa hiyo ni information sisi ambazo tunazijaza wenyewe ndio zinatupa information sahihi ambazo tunazitaka. Kwa hiyo huwa tunakosea wenyewe pale tunakwenda kusearch vitu vingine ambavyo hazipo. Kwa hiyo uh, right information kwa social media isukache tamaa zipo. Wewe mwenyewe pia usikate. Asante. Sasa na mimi hapa nitoa swali hapo kwa sababu sasa sisi tunafanyaje kuwalinda? Maana yake kisha itwa kijana au mtoto maana yake anahitaji uongozi yeah. wewe sasa kama mtu ambaye una upo kwenye hiyo una unajua haya mambo wewe una, una, unafanya nini sasa kuwa kuwa protect umeona amina alikuwa kitu kizuri sana kwamba wanakosa right information nadhani mm-hmm. kupitia hizi program ambazo tunazifanya tusiishie tu kwa recruit uh, wasichana peke yake tukawafanyia mafunzo ya photographer sio hata tuna program basi za kwenda mashuleni zinazohusu digital kwa na vipindi naamini kwenye shule tofauti kuna vipindi vya club si ndio unaweza mfano let's joint it's an idea wakawa na club session kwenye shule tofauti tofauti so lazima ziwe zote shule kadhaa za kuanzia wakawa na club ambayo inahusu mambo ya digital kwenda kuwafundisha vijana uh, kuhusu mambo ya digital kwa sababu au remember tunaelekea sasa hivi digital ndio imetake over ni everything si ndio hauwezi kuikwepa in one way or another kwa hiyo lazima tuwape information kupata information ni ngumu ndio ukitegemea mtoto anekaa bagara au anekaa buza sio anapata wapi information hana hana simu atakapopata simu ndo ataambiwa bwana the voice katoa nyimbo mpya direct anaenda maudhio aliweka kule sio na difference ambayo yeye ya kwa hiyo lazima tu tunaamini si kuapa hawa watoto information ananyongeza kwa kusaidia Um, na sisi you know have clubs shuleni mm-hmm. maybe we can have a talk na ladies joint to have a lady si gani kinaweza kufanya hicho kitu ah yeah. uh, oh ah ananyongeza na mwisho wa kumalizia uh, it's opportunity uh, na to opportunity kwa ladies joint ah uh, sana mmoja mm. i need your hands <laughs> Jamani fuse kwa kama uongee hapa. Eh? Kuna swali. Uh, 
au nyongeza mchango haya tutaanza na dada hapa alafu tutakuja kwako asante mimi sio swali naja kuongeze kwa ile nzuri sana kitu ambacho kitakuongeza maendeleo makubwa sana kwa sana mimi binafsi sikujua mimi nimefurahi sana 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 na nimefurahia huko dadangu yaani ni kitu kizuri mimi kwa sababu mzee nani hani hani hanif ameongea kitu kizuri sana amesema kwenye harusi za za silamu hawa hawa bado wanaumwa wa kukabili kichwa ndio maana kitu kinaweza kuudhibiti wa kusema wengi 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 wakaweza kufanya kazi ya kupiga picha naamini kabisa yani wasena wengi wangekata ajira tena ajira nzuri kwa sababu kama ni harusi za Kiislamu zinaanzia yani zina follow the week kuanzia Juma ngapi Juma ngapi zote hizo zinakuwa ni picha tu lakini zinashindikana wanashindwa kupata picha kwa sababu wapiga picha wengi ni wanaume lakini mimi nina uhakika 101% kama watoto wa kike mlivyoamua kuitengeneza hiyo program mkaiendeleza na mkapata watoto wengi wa kike wa kufanya hiyo kazi ajira zinafikiri kama alivyosema mzee kwamba opportunity zipo ajira zipo juzi na mtafa kulikuwa na graduation ya university of mbili kulikuwa na picha wengi wengi yani wengi mno lakini kwa kweli nafsi yangu sikuweza kumuona swali na maana wale wote ambao walikuepo pale wengi wale walikuwa na wazazi wa familia za wale ambao walikuwa na wazazi wetu pale wengine walikuwa wa 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 nani wa Amerika wa Shwabani walikuwa pale wanapiga picha lakini kweli kabisa sikuona mtoto wa kike hata mmoja yani mpiga picha wa kike siku muone wengi waliokuepo pale ni wanaume kiria sasa kama kulikuwa at least nusu ya wale wapiga picha wasio watoto wake. Na maana tayari kulikuwa na ajira ambazo watoto wetu wangekuwa. Yaani kubwa ninataka kusema ni kuwa kuongeza. Tukifanya mkiendeleze. Tena mkiendeleze kwa nguvu, si kwa watoto 60 au 70, watu wa kike ni wengi. Hiyo program kama ingewezekana tutaanzia yani hata kwa mashule. Kwa watoto na shuleni na wengine kwa sababu sio chochote kitabii kwa kuanzia mwanzo. Watu wanakuwa na interest, watu kama hivyo watu wengine wanaitaji na club za mpira, za kucha watoto mpira. Hebu nifanyeni hiyo na hiyo hii club. Ni hilo tu hapo. Dada tutasidia akitoka dada utafikia Ali pia ni ongezee kwa kusema na wanafamilia mtoto mm, kike ni center of attention inaweza mkawa mahali wakawa watu wengi watu wanaona mkawa watu wengi wakawa wanafanya kitu kizuri sana lakini kitokea hicho kile kilikuwa kinafanya watu wote akifanya mtoto wa kike anajiuka kwa center of attention kwa hiyo mimi niwapongeze sana um, watoto wote wa wazazi wa kike ambao wanaendelea kujifunza lakini ambao tayari wameshajifunza zaidi wamefanya kitu kikubwa zaidi Um, cha kuzingatia tu ni passion tunaitwa hivi kwa tukubali ukishakuwa passionate utakuwa more of creative and innovative utakuwa unatafuta namna gani kufanya kile unachofanya lakini in a very creative way ambayo italeta impact nzuri katika jamii yetu that's what i want like. anti akitoka utakuja wewe mimi wakala ni ongeze kwenye upande wa media. Mm. Na kuongeza sana vijana wa wanaofanua na kasista kwenye hii program. Mimi kwa upande wa media bado sana. Mimi wapiga picha wanawake. Yaani kuna soko na kuna fursa kubwa sana. Kwa sababu mimi nimeanza kazi wananchi 2019 nimeanza chuo alikuwa tu dadamu mmoja yani mtanae pale alikuwa anaitwa Aika mwanaishi akafanya akatoka akaenda tamu mmm ametoka pale 
So, what do you look at? Kwanza tunaangalia like attack record. What's sure kama kuna portfolio, unaisha portfolio online so also in the Instagram and your social media the great examples of what you're working. Also referrals help. Tunasaidia sana kama sometimes you might ask people oh, do you know this person, you know, but portfolio in a portfolio is a I don't know if that is necessary sometimes for a photographer to get to check the for journalists. Just because the type of because some journalists photographers journalists who are photographers they go to us, sometimes they don't come and they come from an art background. You know, they're different yeah. So I don't think it's necessary. I think the important thing is what is your portfolio. Even if you are a wedding photographer, mm-hmm. I believe you know, oh, London and South Africa, like, you know, the, the skills might be different, but if you feel that you know you have skills in that area, you can probably still do some work in journalism. I think it, it is, yeah, your portfolio. Uh, what people are looking at, more important. And I think after you grab your about who to give it to, I don't think necessarily you need to think which journalist. I think it's to think who who is a good photographer, yes, yeah, the woman you specifically want to give it to, who is the woman who think has a good portfolio, who can share it still. And then try and at least because then it will be up to that person. You are by your job description. Sema, you need to sell yourself now. Like everyone's been saying. Yes, maybe you want to come to an unsure bag. Like in here, sometimes you be like, maybe this is not what you want, this is actually what you need. I see how it is. No. I don't know if I have it there. Okay, so I uh, will. You have one issue? You want to say something? Oh, yeah. Okay. Go. I understood everything you said. Okay. Yeah. I just wanted to make a couple of observations and then I have a specific question for the newspaper industry. Um, it's been a very interesting dialogue. Congratulations to everybody in the contributions and the stories about. Um, empowering women to be um, better successful photographers. Um, I love what um, I think Irene is doing on her um, her modes of travel and posting her, her videos on, on social media and, and getting some attention that way. Very, very creative. I um, was also interested in some of the comments that Hanif, Hanif, yes. Hanif made. Um, about the characteristics of women, the strengths of women, in terms of how effective we are at at managing and um, you know jump, juggling several challenges, managing a household and raising families, and they have the main responsibilities. As I understand, you often do. It creates a skill set that is very useful in any profession, uh, photography, photography excluded. And I just wanted to add to that in terms of the skill set that I believe women often have uniquely. And that's their tendency towards um, empathy and understanding. And, and maybe the um, uh, new, new market area into the Muslim um, community uh, is a good example where that would serve very well for the women. Um, again, not just in photography, but in, but in any, in any business, because women, women tend to have that very um, understanding, empathetic, empathetic side. Um, 